Well, hello. I have taken you to a place in my house you've never been before, I don't think. My bedroom. Because <laughs> it isn't that kind of video. Um, before a certain virus, which must not be named if I want my video monetized, I had ordered a neat little piece of furniture that I just picked up at the post office today. And I'm going to share it with you. And this is going to be a weird combination of on my uh, cell phone for video footage and with the camcorder. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I, uh, it's something I've wanted for a long time. I had uh, the desire to splurge and the means to do so within reason. So I did so. And uh, there is a base for this coming. So I may do an update when that arrives. And then, surprise, the whole world changed. And uh, But you know what? Now I'm at home all day, so I get to play with this. Uh, this isn't where it's going to end up. It's going to end up in a very crowded spot. Um, I've mentioned before I live in a small house. Uh, this this is going to, this that you don't see yet is going to become a bed stand, and uh, yeah, for me to fit in there and film is just awful. So I'm not even gonna try. So let's take a look at this marvelous case. There we go. Yes, I have a bookshelf in my bedroom. I've got two of them in my bedroom. Sue me. That's the way I roll. Uh, so, oh, doesn't open. Doesn't open. It's got latches. Oh, and did you see that? It sprang up. So that's pretty cool. So we'll flip. Oh, I just saw I need to dust this bookshelf too. But we won't talk about that because you can't see it. So, we tip this back just slightly. It opens up to a mirror so I can stare at myself. And then in the top here, this is where cell phone comes in handy. So we've got the mirror. And then in the top here, we've got a tool tray. Now my original plan had been I was going to put, and by the way, it looks like oak. Uh, my original plan had been I was going to put um, ink bottles up here, but I think this is just a bit too shallow for a lot of ink bottles. So instead, I'm thinking pens in here, pens here, and then this is removable. Now down below, you see these? So when the lid is closed, these get pushed down, but when the lids open, then I can grab here somehow. <laughs> there we go. Whoops. And that actually slides back. Whoops. Ah, dug on it. All right, like that. And it, it's a lot easier when you're facing it. Um, I bought the nine drawer version. There's an 11 drawer version. I don't remember what I didn't like about it, but, uh, Anyway, I chose not to go that route. Ooh, that looks like a little wood problem there. Uh, one of the versions had two big drawers here, deep drawers, and then uh, smaller drawers on either side of it. That might have been the 11 drawer version. And then there were different versions with different amounts of drawers. I wanted maximal pen storage. So how's that going to work? Well, the drawers come straight out, which... I think is a feature. In some of the reviews I read, that was a bug. I thought that was a feature. Except when I can't put them back in because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, this pulls out. So how am I going to store pens? Okay, well I knew this had green felt in it. So I purchased from Go Pens uh, green pen thingies. And it looks like it'll lay like that. I'll have to cut it to size. And then I've got some extra here. So maybe I will cut other pieces so we can just fit that in there. And I'm thinking one pen, two pen, three pen. Another option is to lay it in here like this. And we'll basically get one pen, but all the way across which is also a tempting option. So I'll have to think about that. Now these smaller drawers, I 
I've got a Lamy 2000 with me. We'll fit a pen that way. If I do it this way, oh, that doesn't leave room. So maybe to make it all match, maybe I'll just do them all this way. Does that sound like a plan? I don't know if it does or not, but that's what I'm going to do. Now up here, I think I can fit one of those in here. And then uh, in this, it wouldn't make sense to lay the pens, you know, this way because it's impossible. So they'll be laid the long way. So I'll use the scraps from cutting up all that green stuff. And uh, you've seen the labels. I will be using the labels to organize the pens. Uh, this tripod has a ball on it. So if this isn't quite level, that would be why. So anyway, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do tonight. When I reappear, it's going to be under god-awful light. Um, I'm not going to drag my studio lights in here just for this. So I'm going to be using oh, the awful lighting that's in my bedroom. But, oh, well, I'm kind of excited. This is going to be fun. You ever heard about measure twice and cut once? This is why they have that advice, because this is what happens when you don't measure at all. So... <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can use bits and pieces of that for scrap elsewhere, but uh, yeah, this time we're going to use a good old-fashioned ruler, and of course this is, I believe it's actually made in China, but uh, it does seem to be set to American measurements, so, is that six, I can't read it through the cell phone, six and three quarter inches wide, or 172 millimeters wide and the length is you know more than that so we're going to measure this time which is what I want and uh, even though I measured it wasn't quite perfect but good enough that I it's not going to bother me so how many pens can I get let me just uh, lay the other half of this in here for a second so we got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So twenty-six times three is going to be seventy-eight pens in the bottom. Oh, I didn't even need to order the base. Holy cow. Still, I'm excited about this. So it may have been ordered before the virus, which must not be named, but... I don't care. I'm, I'm happy about it. As it turns out, the small drawers will hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pens. So, if I cut these exactly in half, I can get uh, uh, one of these trays will fill two drawers. There are six drawers. 6 times 12 is 72. So, what did I say before? 26 times 3, 78. 78 plus 72. Oh my god, I shouldn't have ordered the bass. It's all about the bass. No treble. Oh, that's a song. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm, I need to math in my brain. That's 150 pence. And that doesn't count the top here or the bass. So, what does this mean? I'm not sure. Okay, I just realized I forgot to turn off uh, my recording audio while I've been cutting, so I'll have a lot to trim. But anyway, I just opened a drawer and found these. So it is lockable. I'd seen the lock. I just didn't realize that there were keys. So, yay! Well, success. I uh, did all the drawers, and I had a thought. Um, my, my thought was, there's a base coming with four drawers in it. So, um... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is put the rest of the pens in the base. Now, what am I going to do with the top? So what I'm looking at at the top, here's a good spot to put pen restoration projects. Here's a good spot, because I actually have a spot to store all my uh, materials I use for this pen repair stuff. Uh, but here's a good spot to store some ink bottles and maybe a few more just odds and ends of pen projects. Uh, maybe upcoming reviews or something. So I think I've got this pretty well situated. Uh, my next thing is going to be to start storing the pens. And like I said, 
That won't be finished until I get the base, which uh, I'm not sure where it is, but uh, it's coming. So looking forward to it. So when I start thinking about my collection, one of the things I noticed is I have a lot of Parker pens. In fact, I think I have one or two out. Uh, you know, I have others like the Estes and so on, or Waterman, I don't have very many. Uh, I have a lot of Toes Pen Kala pens. So, I think I'm going to devote one of the big drawers to the, pe to the pe Parker pens, and we'll see where that takes me. For the moment, I've left the top open. I realize that this extra lip here gives me a lot of room for ink up here, so I could conceivably put ink right here if I want to. I'll, I'll figure it out maybe after I get the base. Uh, this part will be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pen repair projects. So let's take a look at the drawers. My bottom drawer is my Parker drawer. I've got a Parker dual fold in its various incarnations, a pencil, and a whole bunch of others. I've got a couple Parkers inked up right now that are not here. I am noticing a bit of smell from the finish of this, so that's annoying, but get over it. I've got an Italian drawer. Omas, Visconti, Columbus, Aurora, a uh, suggestive empty spot, which is there for a reason, another Aurora, Astura, Montegrappa, two Deltas, and some room for, I have a couple vintage Italian pens, which will be appearing soon. Down here, you haven't seen videos for most of these, but I have some Birmingham pens and an Australian Artesian Classic. I always like to leave room for uh, various pens to move in. Here I have my Czechoslovakian Centro pens. Of course, the uh, Centro pen 100820 is going to go here. It's the companion to this pencil. Uh, some more. I have a couple vintage Centro pens which will be showing up. Uh, they're repair projects. And then I have my Platinums. And yes, there's a reason for a few en empty spots. Here, I'm using it. Here, I was hoping to do a video on it. Here, surprise coming. Um, here are my sailors. Not a lot of them. I don't know, Sailor just isn't a brand that excites me a lot. I, I've bought a few, but they don't you know, do a lot for me. Here are some random manufacturers. My Caveco drawer. I have one or two in use right now. My, whoops. My Lamy drawer. Oh, I just upset that. <laughs> Here are my Toes Pencala pens. This may end up needing a bigger drawer because I love this manufacturer. Darn! Here are Pelican, M800, something else, some other Pelicans, some Space, and some Selectors. No, sorry, these are Arrow pens. And here are my Senators. So I'm really hoping that uh, the base offers good storage. I've got big plans for it, and uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun just emptying out these pen cases, and I, I think I'm going to be really excited to be able to just open a drawer and get at my pens. One thing I don't like, these string tags made sense in the pen cases. They don't make as much sense in this wood thing, so I'm going to have to work that out. But anyway... Um, during this uh, virus, which shall not be named, which uh, <laughs> Vice Rhino calls the Voldemort virus, I, uh, I thought this would be a fun extra video just to see what I'm doing. Um, I went, when I bought this, the Voldemort virus was not even slightly on my mind. And now I'm teaching from home. So, 
can't garden yet, so maybe I'm glad I have this extra project to keep me busy. Uh, I have to file away my vintage, or sorry, my Indian and Chinese pens and some random other pens. Uh, so if I don't want to use up all my uh, empty space, I think the extra drawers will be helpful. I'm a little terrified at realizing just how many pens I own. So, I hope this is interesting, I hope it was helpful, and uh, yeah, just an extra video to keep you company during the Voldemort virus, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Tomorrow I'll have a review of two Chinese pens, really one model, but uh, a vintage Chinese pen that ODE previewed on his own channel. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.